There's three ways to assign them. The green button's gonna help you do that. You can assign a work order to one person, one individual, okay? You can assign a work order to a group of people. If you don't care who does the work, you can assign it to a group of people um, and they're gonna show up, they're gonna receive that work order on their dashboard and let them know, we call those departments. It's gonna let them know their department has received a work order request. One person out of that group can accept it and take ownership of that work order, start the work, mark it complete. Uh, and they're gonna be connected to it the whole way. And then we also have a way for you to assign work orders directly to external vendors. If you have a painter in your area or a plumber um, that you work really well with and they wanna use work order management this way, you can add them as an external vendor. You can have them create a portal login to have limited access to work order management. You can assign work orders right to them. They'll get a notification that they've received the work order. They, they themselves will then be able to start the work, mark it complete, things like that. Uh, and all of your records are contained right here in work order and asset management. Um, guys, you have, you have the uh, capability to add invoices, any kind of documentation. If you've got things sitting in a file cabinet, uh, that you want to digitize you can add that right all in here to work order management and uh, the sky's the limit there's a lot of capability here so that is one way to create a work order three ways to assign it i want to show you really quick the other uh, couple ways to assign work orders so again just like event scheduler i showed you guys those uh, two options one to create an event was within the system the other one is outside the system if you want to create a link uh, to allow anyone to submit a work order, we have that capability too. A couple different ways to do that. We're gonna look at settings and advanced settings and public work order requests. Form setup. Um, this is going to allow you to create a link. Just like that event request form, you have a link. Uh, work orders are gonna do the same thing. Let's look at this public basic work order request. You can do more than one. If you're a church or a school um, and you wanna have separate, or maybe both, maybe a church and a school, and you wanna have separate uh, work order links for those two um, organizations, you can do that. You can have one for staff, you can have one for the congregation or the parent body, totally up to you. You can go bananas with these. Um, public work order requests, it just gives you the option to have that external link just like event scheduler to create that form. You also have the embed code that you can add. I use it to add to your website if you want. Uh, you can also create a QR code from this. Either of those links, by the way, the event scheduler, um, external request form, or the work order request form, you can create QR codes for both of those if you wanna post them around your building. Um, and you're brave enough to do that, uh, you can do that and somebody can just shoot that QR code with their phone and it's gonna open up the form right away for them and it's gonna look just like this. Looks a lot like the event scheduler form. They're gonna fill out their information. They're gonna let you know uh, what work needs to be performed. Now, for these, they will they are required to select the service category and the priority code, but you can limit those. Um, I always tell people it's a good idea to limit those. Uh, if you have 37 service categories, you don't want the general public trying to figure out which one it is. They can select them, you can limit them. Um, I love not letting them pick a priority code. Uh, you as the facility manager or the admin can assign the priority code. You can create one called facilities will determine priority. They have to select it as part of the request, uh, but then it comes in, you know it comes in, you can prioritize it the way you need to. They'll put their work order description in, they'll hit submit and it comes right back to the dashboard, just like an internal work order but there's a little globe that lets you know it's an external request. So that's the first way of that public work order. The second way is just a simple email to work order. We have provided a way for you to set up uh, email to work order request. We give each organization, each email form has a unique email address. You can set up a forwarding email that matches your church or your school to do that. And it's gonna send emails right to this account. And these are very, very simple. Um, so this is a way that someone can email, just type an email out or send a text. They can actually text the same address and say, hey, the water fountain is leaking in the auditorium. Um, and it's gonna shoot that right into your dashboard. It's gonna let you know who requested it. Uh, so if you need to go back and ask that person a question in an email, you can do that. But that's a very fast way to get that work order uh, streamlined into your system. Now, the text to work order option, a lot of people 
get a little nervous when I talk about that. Um, but here's another way that your facilities crew can use that text to workwear option. If you set this up, um, go ahead and have them, even if you don't set up that forwarding address and you wanna use this amongst your staff or your team um, only, have them drop this email address into their contacts. Create a contact in your phone called work order and then send a text to work order with the water fountain is leaking, boom, it's done. So if you're walking around and you're, you know, you're a facility manager and you're walking through the building on your way to do something else and you happen to see the water fountain leaking, hit, hit that text right there and send it to your work order account. Guess what? You've just made yourself a note. It's in your work order system. You don't have to remember to go back and do that. So lots of ways this can be used. Really get creative with it.